we should uh, get back to our tradition. We do not need to learn from the West. It's against the mainstream, it's against elite. It's the right direction. We are very much afraid. We are closing our society just to our nation. And that's actually not good. The, the world is multinational. Ever since Russian forces left 25 years ago, Poland has faced an identity crisis. What does it mean to be Polish? At first, the Euro way was the only way. But now a new nationalism is sweeping the nation. In power since 2015, the right-wing Law and Justice Party has tapped into dissatisfaction with liberal Western values. Emphasizing a traditional idea of Polishness that promises to give people back their pride, culture and self-belief. But many here fear that what they regard as the authoritarian political party behind all this is hijacking the government by subverting the judiciary, muzzling the media and curbing civil rights. I'm here to investigate whether such claims are justified and if we really are seeing the beginning of the end of liberal democracy in Poland. This is Ostrov Mazowiecka, a law and justice stronghold. Like many parts of rural East Poland, people have long felt neglected by liberal politicians and the urban elite. Here at this windswept paving stone factory on the edge of town, there's resentment about the way foreign EU leaders are criticizing the party they support. This man has worked at the plant for more than 25 years. Tak, myślę, że zbyt mocno się miesza do naszych spraw. Polska jako kraj suwerenny ma jakieś tam swoje kurcze, jak to powiedzieć, no swoje sprawy, w które nikt nie powinien się mieszać. Jeżeli chodzi właśnie o Unię, Inaczej sobie żeśmy wyobrażali. Gdy byłem na Marszu Niepodległości i świętowałem święto narodowe Polski, bardzo ważne. I pan Timmermans powiedział, że w Warszawie szło 60 tysięcy faszystów. To znaczy mnie nazwał faszystą i moją rodzinę. No ja sobie tego nie życzę, bo ani się nie czuję, że jestem faszystą, ani nim nie jestem. Bo mój dziadek zginął w czasie II wo wojny w obozie w Auschwitz i już nie powrócił. Także ja nie pozwalam, żeby ze mnie robić teraz faszystę. The town's mayor insists people here have long been ignored and talked down to, and says his party are giving them back their dignity. W sensie psychologicznym. Ten proces paternatelistycznego traktowania obywateli i to większej części obywateli jest bardzo dotkliwy. Wielu ludzi to odczuło osobiście, bez względu na to, czy byli zaangażowani społecznie, czy nie byli. To nie ma nic do rzeczy, ale my je zauważamy. Mimo, że nie słyszymy, to czujemy. Wy nie rozumiecie. Wy posłuchajcie, to my wam powiemy. Pride, both personal and national, isn't the only thing being given to people here. New welfare payments for anyone with children is yet another very popular policy. 27-year-old Monica, struggling to raise three children in her tiny flat, has long felt let down by politicians, but not anymore. Which party do you think you'll give your vote to in the next election? No, PiS, myślę. No, właśnie chodzi o to, że to wszystko, żeby robić, to robić dla Polski, dla ludzi, dla nas, tak? Żeby to mi się podoba, z tym mogę się utożsamić, tak? Bo z, dobrze jest, jak właśnie mówią o polskich rodzinach, czy o tym, jak, jak jest w Polsce, tak? Żeby to jeszcze bardziej, yy, no wiadomo, żeby było jeszcze lepiej w tej Polsce, tak? To, to mi się podoba w tym akurat. Mogę teraz zapewnić swoim dzieciom wszystko. Kiedy wcześniej nie mogłam, nie byłam w stanie, bo nie miałam takich środków, jak mam teraz. Nie, ma, nie martwię się po prostu, jak idę do sklepu, czy mi starczy, czy mi nie starczy. 
this gathering in the capital of older urbanites looks a world away from those in rural Ostrov Mazovietska, but appearances can be deceiving. Here at this right-wing club in central Warsaw, liberalism is under attack. Over the last hour or so, we've been hearing all about concerns over the Pope's policies towards gay marriage and divorce, but it goes much deeper than that. People here have big issues with the whole subject of Western democracy itself. We were robbed, we, we, we have debts, you know, we, we had most of the rules were very, very poor, very bad, you know, we were servants, servants to, to the Western uh, capitalists coming, coming to, to Poland from, from 1989. And in Jan's view, the majority of Poles have seen few real benefits since the fall of communism. Who regained freedom, I'm asking? Who? Post-communists, their friends, their families, their supporters. That's it. One third is for the rest of the people, and you should know it in the West. Very simple. We should really pursue our own way and our own tradition. Of course, it's very difficult, but there is a good saying, if, can you count, if you can, count on yourself. But if Poland carries on down this path, the biggest beneficiary of EU grants can't count on the support of the EU. Dobro spo narodu, dobro społeczne musi być nad prawem, nawet nad, nawet nad konstytucją. Brussels has condemned its move to take over the appointment and disciplining of judges and to make them retire earlier. But the party's vice president in the European Parliament sees this as unwarranted interference. Many when I'm talking with my um, um, colleagues in European Parliament, I always say, OK, you are criticizing Poland. Look at your country. I cannot accept situation when the people from the other countries which are not in, uh, informed about situation, they, they do not speak Polish, they do not visit Poland, and they compare the situation of Poland to Russia, Turkey, I don't know, to, to different undemocratic countries. Some believe the government is playing on Poland's many reminders of invasion to blame foreigners for its current woes. This government needs enemies. We, you know, they are in desperate search for enemies. Each and every month they invent a new enemy. The European Union is one, of course Germany is number one. It is a very um, successful uh, uh, mechanism for attracting uh, people. And the name of the game again with this electorate, as I described it, is the kind of simplicity right? they are proud of. Um, being a Pole, that there is this megalomanic uh, history being proposed, offered anew, which not necessarily is a real history. Civil rights groups have come to fear that they're on this list too. Through these doors is the offices of a women's rights charity. Just a few months ago, police went through here, up the stairs and raided the office, taking with them dozens of confidential files, none of which have yet been returned. Of course it was a very shocking for us and we are very uh, scared, especially that it was the day when we have also clients uh, in all of our offices and when the police came they took not only all the uh, financial documents but also the documents concerning uh, this very sensitive data of our clients. So sometimes we think uh, how big impact it had not only on us uh, and our situation uh, and trust of, uh, but also on the trust of our clients, how safe they feel. Ms. Novakoska suspects that her organization's biggest crime is championing women's rights rather than the kind of traditional family values espoused by the Polish Prime Minister. So how is this all being allowed to happen? Społeczeństwo dojrzewa wolno przez te 30 lat bardzo zaniedbano sferę socjalną. I teraz to się mści. Dlatego, że ludzie powiadają dobrze wolnością dla bo ja wiem, genderowych aspiracji kobiet nie nakarmimy y, dzieci. 
Neither will campaigns backed by this judge to keep Poland's judiciary independent. But why is the government so intent on eroding this? Władza, proszę pana. Władza. Dlaczego się manipuluje mediami? No, żeby media były posłuszne. Dlaczego się manipuluje ludźmi? Żeby się ludzie nie buntowali. Dlaczego, dlaczego chce się, żeby sędziowie nie byli za bardzo samodzielni? Żeby orzekali tak, jak to założył polityczny projekt. Law and Justice have insisted that all they're doing is redressing a long-standing liberal bias in the country. But is it not really a naked power grab? This was in your questions about fundamental rights, about uh, civil rights. I can assure you, you know, we are, uh, they are not in danger in this, uh, in this country. But some, especially the young, fear that the drive towards traditional Polishness is encasing the nation in a monocultural straitjacket. I think it's very important to remember about history and tradition and try to, of course, stick to some values that we have and creating the ideal Pole is a very nice idea in such a way. So to show that we are having some specific uh, features of um, our people, our society, but it shouldn't be like differentiating us from others. Bardzo mi smutno. Zmiany będą z mojego punktu widzenia coś bardziej na gorsze. I co mnie najbardziej smuci, ponad 40% społeczeństwa będzie się z tego cieszyć. Professor Makowski believes things can't go on the way they are indefinitely. One of the things that we have to emphasize about Poland of today is that uh, we have a constitutional crisis. We have a separation of powers is non-existing here. The rule of, of law has been violated on many occasions by the president, by this party, and it, this is violation of the existing binding constitution. And we are asking ourselves a question, when will it be that these people will face the state tribunal? Because this is the obvious thing. I mean, I, I think it will happen sooner or later. Poland's radical policies are flying high for now, kept aloft by populist answers to the nation's identity crisis and the woes of its marginalized rural poor. But gathering storm clouds may yet force Warsaw to change course as the battle with Brussels nears.